the other one we need to watch out for from the Nifty is also Bajaj Auto, which is expected to report a lackluster quarter. Sunia is here with um, what to expect, looking all pretty this uh, pre Diwali. Sonia, morning. Hi, Ekta. Hi, Nigel. Uh, well, happy Dhanteras, first of all, to you and to all our viewers. Uh, today, Bajaj Auto may not report as good numbers as its peers. So, we are expecting a very flat performance on the revenue front. Now, you know, the volumes for Bajaj Auto have been very tepid this time around purely because of the way exports have been shaping up for them. The export volumes this time have been hit by almost 30% year-on-year. Key markets like Nigeria, uh, Congo, um, Egypt, all the markets in Africa are really under intense pressure and that's why their exports have gotten hit. But the silver lining for them is that the domestic business is doing fine. So the domestic volumes have actually gone up by 22% for them because some of their new models in the 100-150cc segment have done well. Specifically in the 100cc, you know, the new Platina, the new CT100 has been picking up. So that's something that will aid their domestic volumes. So on the revenue front, absolutely flat. On the EBITDA, we are expecting a dip of around 3 odd percent and margins of 20.9 percent. Now I must alert our viewers that starting this quarter, most companies in the auto space are reporting um, you know, their numbers or the margins uh, by subtracting the excise duty. So you have to remove the excise duty and then calculate the margins. But on the bottom line, we're expecting a growth of just 9.3%. So lackluster numbers from Bajaj Auto this time. All right, uh, Sonia.